Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome back to next gen PGA Tour 2K21 gameplay live here on the channel. Today we are checking out the Artful Dodgers Misty Mountains. This is a course which was inspired by the Misty Mountains from the fantastic books and movies The Hobbit. If you've not yet seen it, which if you haven't you've been living on Mars, absolutely cult books and films. Let's check out the core settings. As always, everything's going to be left at default. Fairways are firm, greens are soft, green speed is medium slow. We do have two tee options. We are going to be swinging from the white tees, which are playing 7,069 yards. And as always, pin set number one. So let's see if I can successfully navigate my way around the Misty Mountains, just like Bilbo Baggins and avoid Gollum, but I'm a huge fan of the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit franchise. I'm sure most of you guys are as well. So really looking forward to this one. The designer did actually design a course in my honour called Early 1981's Loch Ness, but look at this for an opening hole. Loving this stadium area here. Really impressive grandstands right next to that lake. Why? Right, so we've got 7 mile per hour winds here. Slight dog leg right. We're going to run out of the, the fairway here, so just going to have to lay up with three. Wood driver would be too long. And hopefully that wind does hold us up and bring us to the left. Good first tee shot. We do execute the perfect. And that should leave us a right good line of sight into this opening green. So 182 yards, still a lot of work to do. Very tight green here. Target golf required. I'm just looking to land this short off the pin. Front edge of the green would be ideal with a four iron. Just deal off to the ever so slightly. Oh, a tiny fast. Hopefully that doesn't punish us so much though. And that should comfortably hold the left side of the flag stick. So we do have a a 10 foot putt for an opening birdie. Greens are 131. I am really going to struggle with these green speeds. This is just gently breaking from right to left. And we do manage to pick up an opening birdie. So good start to the round. We do move on to the second hole at one under par. So hole number two is a par four. It's a very tight fairway here. Hopefully the 7 mile per hour wind is going to hold us up. Try and take this down the right hand side. Not with that huge fast. Wow. Absolute laser beam of a swing line. But we've put a red fast and with that we're going to have to try and shape this round this tree. This is going to be tough because water is in play. Wow. It's another tiny target green. So I'm just going to try and turn this from right to left with a 5 wood. And hopefully we can get up there on the dance floor. This has to be good. Oh, look at that for a swing. Surely this is all over it. Get down. If this holds the green, that could well be one of the greatest golf shots I have ever played. Hopefully we can convert this birdie putt from 15 feet. But if you haven't already done so, guys, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more shots like that. So downhill putt. I've really under hit that. Really under hit that. That is criminal after an approach shot from the fairway. Like what we just did. Disappointed to only walk away with par there. But like I did say in the first green, these greens are going to cause me problems. And we do move on to the first of the par threes. But what a fantastic looking opening few holes so far. Really, really enjoying it. Love the planting that Artful Dodger has uh, used here on this course. Flowers really take this course to life. That swing was we get the perfect. This should land beautifully and sit ever so quickly. Come on, get down, get down. That's actually carried a little bit more in the air than I expected. Work, uh, we do have a 14-foot a putt for birdie. Quite a lot of movement on this one. We've certainly not under hit this one. Oh, but it just turns left off the cup. And that is going to leave us with a tap in part. I'm sure this is a Swiss feet. Absolutely stunning. First few holes here. It's another really tight fairway. Wow. He's nailed the environment, by the way. Certainly gives you the 
Oh, that's what's... That is a tiny fast, and look how far left that is going wide. It's going to be another missed fairway in regulation as we well, just trickle into the, the light fairway, rough. But, uh, but the course certainly gives you the illusion that you are in the world of J.R. Tolkien's fantastic story. So once again, going to have to turn this from right to left. Oh, I got a fast. I think we've overturned that with a fast. And with that, we're going to find ourselves on the next tee box. Hopefully, we've got a line of sight into the green, though. But this is going to be a difficult um, course, especially from tee to fairway. Very tight fairways. Made even tighter by the tree lines. Good execution. And that should ensure... A tap in par save. So, still one under after that fantastic birdie on the first. Should be two under. But we did leave a, a putt drastically short on the second after a great recovery shot. So this one's going to be a dog leg right. I think we can just about hit driver here. Just going to de-loft it and take a lot of yardage off. And hopefully give ourselves a line of sight into this green it's a nut I, i'm not sure what's going on here that is a tiny gray fast just off the perfect and i really seem to be getting punished severely for that just going to try and chase three wood out the light rough we have hit a slow i should kick left i think Nice favourable kick into the light rough, and that should leave us a pitch or a flop. Let's have a look at the flop. I should have a flop made for this yardage-wise. 42 yards is made for it. Just a little bit of backspin here. And see if we can get this as close to the, the flag stick as possible. Oh, great execution. This has got a chance of holding out here. That's a beautiful shot, and once again, it's going to leave us a tap-in birdie. And with that, we move to two under par. But very nice course so far. Really enjoying this. I think the, the designer's name is Mick Pitcher, aka Artful Dodger. He has got a lot of courses out there. He's actually got a really good portfolio of courses. So 11 mile per hour win. Once again, tiny slow. And look how far right that ball is going. Wow. This just feels a little bit foreign to me. I've never been punished as much as this. With these tiny slows and fast. The ball is really deviating off target with them. So just going to try and shape this out of here. Four iron. Need to land this at the front of the green. It's a good execution. We had very little room to work with there. But I don't think that's going to run up towards the pin. There is a... Severe slope here, and that is going to be a nasty putt. 31 feet, one foot uphill. Breaking both ways here. But with these slow greens, I'm just going left edge of the cup. I think I've hit that adequately. Oh, almost drained it. Gave it a chance anyway. Put it six feet past. But we do convert that for another par save. And with that, we will remain at two under par. Not really, there we go, I was going to say we've not really had a look at the Misty Mountains there, but there is a fantastic view off them, great backdrop, look at that, beautiful bridge here as well, with the flowers planted across it, very creative, so I think we can just try and kick this into this bank here, full backspin with this four iron and hopefully it kicks up, so just try to use this slope to our advantage, kick it into it, tiniest of fasts, Wind is bringing us back, and this should be good. Oh, wow, that just stopped stone dead as soon as we hit the bank. Must be a really severe slope, that. But it's only one foot. Normally they do kick up, but that really is a sharp incline slope. So 23 feet out, one foot uphill, breaking both ways once again. It's a good way. Is it going to turn back? Oh, it's a fantastic putt. It really is a good putt. And we do move to three under par. Really happy with that putt. And we are going to move on to the next tee at three under par. Three under for the round. 
So hole number eight. Geez, oh, we are flying through this. We do have an 11 mile per hour wind. It's another tight fairway. You're going to have to be playing a lot of perfects here. Especially on the master difficulty to be finding these fairways. I think that could well be my only second perfect um, tee shot. And that is going to boom us all the way. 341 yards that has checked up at. So 147 yards to the pin. 12 mile per hour wind behind us. We can comfortably go 9 iron here. Just going to apply a good bit of backspin. Lie the wind to carry us up there. And this should sit down very, very quickly. Now that fast is not moving us at all. Yardage should be good here. And that is a very good approach shot. And we are going to be rewarded with a four foot putt. Which we do convert. And that is back to back birdies for the first time in the round. And we move to four under. With the final hole of this front nine being a par five. Oh, look at this. We are back into the stadium area. What a fantastic looking hole. Must find fairway here. 13 mile per hour wind is going to really help us out. Oh, it's a tiny fast again. I think we just avoided that tree on the left hand side. Is this going to kick right? That was a very fortunate outcome there because we could have easily caught the tree on the left hand side. I am in between clubs here. Wow. But what a fantastic hole. Shared green here as well. That must be the the 18th hole on the left hand side with the 18th green I'm going to have to go hybrid surely hybrid with that 12 mile per hour wind carries the front of the green with a good execution 5 woods too long tough shot in here but beautiful stadium area oh we get the perfect couldn't have hit that any better that ball is dying what on earth oh no we hit off the wooden surround. That is unbelievable. That 195 just did not carry well at all. It just died. Very fortunate bounce though. Off the retaining wall. And let's see if we can chip this close. Just going to put a good bit of backspin on this. Don't want it running out too much. But don't want to leave it too short neither. Good execution. I tell you what, it's got a chance. Is it going to turn back? Go on, go on. Oh, it tried to turn back. Just miss out on the eagle from the chip shot there. But we do drain the birdie putt. So solid front nine on this very picturesque course, which does really require good decision making and good shot shaping off the tees. Strategy is the name of the game here. I think with that one we can just have, oh my goodness, what's going on with the tee box here? I can only assume that is a published error. Wow. That is very uncharacteristic of the designer. So we will put that down to a published error if that is a thing with the tee boxes. There's a slight slow, surely that wind brings me back. If we're in heavy rough, we are in a bit of difficulty here. Oh wow, I don't know if we can make it across the water here. 167 yards to go. That green is well protected by a trio of bunkers. Oh, I think we're just going to have to try and get out with a five wood. Just try to get this as far down the fairway as possible. Let's actually even go three wood. Horrible lie percentage, but surely we can get up there close. That is an absolute laser beam with a perfect. Go on, find the gap. Find the gap. So close, but we did get close to the the green and we should have a splash shot from 19 yards out here this lob wedge should just about get there with a little bit of de-loft just looking to avoid that slope in the left should kick up and we are going to have a putt for par probably about 7 feet, 9 feet out breaking both ways here but just favouring the left side of the flag should turn, does turn we do manage to scramble Another part. If you're missing fairways here, guys, your scrambling and recovery shots are going to have to be on form. Because this is such a tough course when you start to miss the fairways. So 130 yards, 9 mile per hour wind. I'm just going to go full loft on this 8 iron. Try and get this landing at the front of the green. And with a little bit of backspin, check up as quickly as possible. 
Oh, that's a fast and I felt it. That is going to come up way short and left now. That is going to be a horrible shot from the heavy rough. Let's just see if we can get this close. Sam Wedge splash shot should be good. Yardage should be bang on. Decent execution. Is it going to sit? Reluctantly slows up past the hole. And it's another good up and down for the par save. And we will remain at five under par. This is such a difficult course on Master Difficulty, guys. It's like target golf on a lot of the areas. So it's another... It's a short par four, but you cannot attack that green off the tee. So we're just going to lay up with the three high. But a 10 mile per hour wind in my face should leave us nothing more than a full wedge. It's another slight fast... It's a grey fast. Look how far left that is going. That's not going to hold the fairway. Wow. I do know the wind was kind of pushing us towards that area as well. But I can't recall having this punishment with grey fast and slows that I've experienced in this round here. Very bizarre. So four iron should be bang on here with that wind. We do get the perfect. This should land short and hopefully check up. We did put full backspin on this. What a golf shot that is. Some of our shots into the greens after poor, tier sh after poor tee shots have been nothing short of majestic. And we don't make a mess of this putt. It tried hard to miss on the right edge. But we do pick up our six birdie. And we move to six under par. He's absolutely nailed the lighting here with the, the fog levels. Certainly does give you the impression that you're just at the foot of the Misty Mountains. Short par four once again, but very tight fairway here. No point in taking driver. It's a really good tee shot with the three wood, and that should leave us a wedge into this small green. 105 yards, we've got a 10 mile per hour wind. Just going to go a little bit of backspin in this pitching wedge. Yardage should be good. Wind should move us slightly to the left. Oh, it's another tiny fast. But look how far left that is going in a combination of the wind. Yardage was bang on to. We are going to have a pin high putt from 11 feet out for birdie. Not a lot of movement in this. Just going left edge of the cup. Should hopefully turn back in. It does turn. And it is another birdie. And we do move to seven under par with five holes remaining. What a fantastic course this is. Really loving the, the fantasy courses that are inspired by historic books, films, locations. That's a red slope, and I did feel that. We'll be fortunate if that does hold the right-hand side of the fairway. I think we're just going to trickle into the light rough. But I love his planting. Very creative use of the, the flowers over the bridge. Never really seen that before. And once again, we're going to have to shape this from left to right. Hazards all around us here. Just got to make sure it gets over. Oh, it's a fast. And with that, we are going to come up short left. That would have been really good if we got the perfect. So let's see if we can splash this one close. 15 yards out. Tell you something. We have had to use a lot of splash shots, flops, chips from the edge of the greens just due to the, the difficulty of the, the fairways from the, the tee box. If you're not hitting perfects, you're not going to find a lot of these fairways and I really do like the element of that and the strategy that is involved to get your way around this course successfully. So, hole number 15, par 3, 184 yards. I do like the, the variation in these par 3s as well. Some of them are target golf with really tight greens, short distances. And now you've got this one, which has got a larger green. I couldn't have hit this any better. Bit longer distance. Go on, run up, run up, run up. That is a fantastic tee shot. And we are going to be rewarded. 
with a tap in birdie from four feet out, which we do convert, and with that we move to eight under par. Okay, eight under par is but this is such a a fun course, guys. It really immerses you in the environment. Once again, beautiful backdrop of the the misty mountains. So three woods going to be substantial here once again. Driver is going to be far too much. Such a fun course. And like I said, strategy, the name of the game. That is horrible. That could be war. No. That is... I don't know if we can get across the, the water here. Into that green. Some of the par fours, although yardage, they're short. But due to you being forced at times to, to lay up with three wood or a shorter club, they really turn into longer holes. No. I'm not even seeing a landing zone. Can we make it to the left-hand side? I mean, look at it. 73 to 80%. No, I think we're just going to have to bail out to the left here and hopefully play a good approach shot and, and try and walk away with a par save. My swing timing's been so inconsistent this round, though. So, lob wedge. Just try to hack this out of here. That should be nothing more than a... A 9-iron or pitching wedge, I would imagine, with that wind behind us. 141 yards, 11 mile per hour wind. 9-iron should be good. Just going full backspin. A lot of loft and just try to throw this up there. Try to get it stopping as soon as it hits the, the green. Oh, it's a tiny slow. That is just going to come up short right now. And due to the amount of spin and loft we put in that, that ball sat down instantly. So we need to chip this in for the part. Got to at least give it a chance. Yardage should be good. Oh, it's a fast. It's probably going to check up short left. It does. So the first drop shot of the game coming up here. Our first bogey. That is going to be a difficult course to go round. Bogey three in these, these wins. Slightest mistake on this course just seems to really punish you and highlight your mistake. It's another tee shot where we're just going to have to lay up with three wood. Look how tight this green is, man. Wow. But just love the environment that the designers created here. Such a relaxing course. Wow. This is so, so tight. Seven iron should be made for this with that wind behind us. Could have probably comfortably hit driver off the the tee shot there. I couldn't hit that any better. Surely this runs out well. Come on. Go, go, go. Just going to come up a little bit short. But we've got an 18 foot putt. For birdie. Slightly downhill. Breaking both ways. Just going left edge of the cup here. I don't think I've hit that. We had the line to. We had the line to. I didn't hit it. Wow. Oh, man. Me and these slow to medium slow greens just don't work well together. My patterns let me down on occasions today. But look at this for a final hole. It is the shared green. Back to the stadium area off the course. What a fantastic finishing hole, guys. I'm just going to deal off this driver and try and put it down the right-hand side of this fairway. And that should leave us a really good line of sight. Tiny slow. But look how far right that ball is, Viren, but we should have enough fairway to work with. Really took a lot off the driver. And that should be a really good line of sight. Into this 18th green, which is shared with the 9th. Three hybrid once again should be made for this. Just going to try and float this up there. Tiniest of slows, but yardage should be good. Surely this sits down fairly quickly. Just running on a little bit, but we are going to have a look for an eagle putt from 21 feet. It's a makeable putt. Surely that turns back. Oh, it's overturned. Almost drained. An eagle on the final hole, but we do tap that in for a birdie. 
and that is going to be a 63 which is an 8 under but what a fantastic Hobbit themed course guys go out there and play it if you haven't already done so you will really like it but that is it for today's video guys if you are new to the channel please hit the subscribe button if you did enjoy the video leave a like I will leave you with my round stats but until the next video take care peace out and love you all bye